Good evening, guys. It's your boy, the Snapster, back here again with another cool, cool video. Today, we are going to be reading some really interesting fan fictions. And this is going to, the first one is going to be called You're My Bacon. I'm going to be questioning the host because <laughs> it's quite simple. Anyway, though, before we start, none of you have subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe right now. Turn on notification, follow me on social media. Yeah, links up to social media is in the description as well as my music, cool career. I'm trying to be a rapper. But can you get my song Sausage Rolls to be the Christmas number one? So that lad baby doesn't get it again. Ha 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 ha. Let's get into it, my fine motherfuckers. The first hand pick is You're My Bacon. And it's Peppa Pig. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. So basically, Ed Sheeran's committing bestiality. So Peppa Pig's an animal, Ed Sheeran is a human. This is interesting. That person doesn't deserve the internet though. <laughs> okay, that has probably got to be the most simple thing. Ed Sheeran walked into the bedroom to find his new girlfriend Pepper laying on his bed. Hey my little bacon bit. He, Ed said slightly moaning, bacon bit. <laughs> Pepper Pig looked at him with Lost in her eyes, I said, hey, my guitar hero, Ed Sheeran, I've got a giant boner. Do you want my cock bacon bits? Yes, Eddie, daddy. <laughs> so, daddy, so basically, if Peppa Pig and Daddy Pig were, so basically, that's not just bestiality, but that is also noncery, meaning Ed Sheeran becomes a pedo in that one as well. So... So, seconds later, Ed's cock was deep in Pepper's pink pussy. Daddy, she moaned, you're my bacon, Ed growled sexually. I'm sorry, I'm too late to finish this. That's a sign more ah. It's pretty okay fanfic, believe it or not. But there are some questions like one. Why does it end up with Ed Sheeran? Fucking Peppa Pig in the ass. Not only is be shouty, but it's also noncery. And there's rough sex, which constantly goes up into rape, which is interesting. <laughs> the next, this is the next fanfic we're going to read. And, and it's called BTS Smut. I don't. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is the next one. The one that gets my. Try to get my views. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, Techno and Rambo is the first one we're going to look at. This is a thing called Dream SMP Smart, by the way. Stacking off. And well. Well, do you like calling me that? Maybe if you did, I'll let you call me by my first name. He then pushed Rambo off but onto the bed, almost blocking out the air of his lungs. His boss crawled on top of him. He found his neck under Rambo's waistband and pulled his pants and boxes all the way down. He found it, so in Rambo, he had certainly had a pretty body. And hello there, if you want to know what's going on. My cat has just joined me. See? Hmm. 
Young. The people both me. That's our only green bow recording at the moment. So, the phone, let's continue. <laughs> this is a punishment. I might as well be, but I might as well be nice and says, moving up three of his three fingers. I don't want to hurt you too much this time. Rambi resisted the urge to roll his eyes instead. His he shuts when a finger pushed aside him. His mouth opened halfway and let out quiet whimpers. It wasn't too long until he had three of the slick fingers inside him. And it wasn't long until he was letting out quiet moans. His boss watched Rambu's face with interest and deemed him stretched enough he might only stretch up a few times before lining up. Pressing and rapping, radiation was now useless from Rambu. Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Almost! Well, oh, all the way out before thrusting back in. Rambu threw his head back. His hands. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm starting to laugh. <laughs> Scrambling. <laughs> That's something. How does it feel, Rambo, his boss? Asked the lawyer. Are oh, you just the position of death? I'm trying not to laugh here. The butler grasped at this particular heart. We, of course, hmm, Rambo, you made softly. It. <laughs> Feels good. Do you like it? Rambu nodded quickly. He moaned over. His boss chuckled darkly. I never knew you were such a slut. I should have done this sooner. Fucking hell. That's funny. Rambu's moans got a lot of crowd on his boss. And his prostate. His boss grinned and only got a weirdly offer. I imagine his boss is doing this rape face because he's of course raping Rambu. You're such a whore, Rambu again. I'm again, I'm the whore, I'm only yours. His boss's face blushed at that. He was like even mad Rambu was the turn because of how hot it was. Fuck, he reached up, snapped his fingers around Rambu's neck, giving it a light squeeze. But that is wrong right now. Heck no place. Say your name when you come, okay? No, I don't know. And it all just gets extremely rapey. And that I'm not going to continue again because if I keep reading it, I'm just going to start laughing. <laughs> okay. Okay then. <laughs> mm. That's the oh god. It's trick is love, trick is life. Hold <laughs> on. Huh, yeah. Okay. Hey, my favourite bit of cop has to Shrek is love, Shrek is life. I'll tell you. That is the one. I'm gonna take my version of it. Uh, yeah. I was only 16 years old. I loved the dream so much that I had all the merchandise and movie and video. I watched all the videos. I listened to Mask by Dream every night, thanking him for the life I've been given. Dream is love, I say. Dream is life. Dad hid, hid my, my dad hid me and called me a, 
I knew he was just out of my devotion to the dream. I called him a cunt. He hit me and sent me to sleep. I'm crying now and my face hurts. I'm in bed really cold and I feel something warm. <laughs> dream. I was so happy. He whispers in my ear. That's what the point of the mask is. He grabs me with his <laughs> with his Minecraft blocky hands and puts me on my hands and knees. I'm ready. Scrub my ass cheeks, the dream. He penetrates my butthole. It hurts too much, but I do it for dream. I can feel my butt tearing and my eyes watering. I want to please dream. He draws a mighty battle cry when he fills my butt with love. My dad walks in, dreams. He's very alright and says, says, that's what, says, it's all over now. Dream moves through my window. Dream is love. Dream is life. I just want to make it clear that I am not gay. It's just my version of Shrek is love, Shrek is life. <laughs> and the word I mouthed? So basically, if you're offended by me using homophobic language, you can fuck off. Anyway though, that's the end of today's fanfic session. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do join me again whenever I get around to it. Until then, then you can like my video, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications. And until then, take care my fine little monkey fuckers.